Give me the necklace. What are you doing? I don't need the setting, do I? You tricked me. You tried to play me for a fool. Well, you made a fatal mistake. If it is real, it would be worth millions of dollars. Like the Armonti diamond. And in fact, Adriana, this looks just like the Armonti time. How would I know that? I've never seen Mama's diamond. Oh, honey, why don't you play with your beads and your toys? Mama has to make a phone call. I won't be long. I mean, I'm just going over some lists for the wedding. Why? Well, I have uh, something that I want to show you. Could you come over here right away? Of course I'll come over right away. Are you okay? Is everything all right? Yeah, just, just come quickly. I'll be waiting. Okay. Call her back. Tell her not to come and tell her it was a false alarm. Are you deliberately trying to screw up my plans for her? How could I? I don't even know what they are. Don't worry, dearie. You'll find out soon enough. Lisa. My Lisa. My name isn't Lisa. But I know who you are. You broke into my house, and I want to know why. Do I need a reason to drop in on an old friend? Eden, no. That's Mama's book. Don't touch. Okay. 
What did you want to show me? I, uh, I bought this, this gift for Kelly for her wedding, and, and I really wasn't sure if it was right. I sort of panicked. I, I, I wanted to know what you thought. You bought a gift for Kelly? But... Oh, okay, what is it? Well, I'll show it to you. Well, it's absolutely beautiful, and I'm sure that she'll love it, and I'm sure that Robert will love it, too. Why do you have a problem with this? Do you think it's all right? Yes, I think it's just fine. Is, is this it, Eden? Is this all you wanted to show me? But it's just that I felt so strange you know, when Kelly told me that she was marrying Robert. I, I mean, if uh, he's going to make her happy, then that's something I think she ought to do, but she seems like a different person. We were all a little thrown when she made this decision, too. But I feel it's what she wants. You gonna have a party for Kelly, Robert? A party? Mm -hmm. Why? Because Lionel told me you asked if you could borrow the yacht, his yacht, Lockridge yacht, for a party. Um, I was a little surprised because I thought if you wanted to do a party, you'd do it on our boat. It's bigger. Your dad certainly wouldn't mind. Well. I guess I could talk to Daddy about it. I just thought I should leave my options open. Then it's a party for Kelly. It's just a party. Why do I get the feeling you don't know what I'm talking about? When I get the migraines, I, I, I just forget things. Eden, I don't think that, um, I don't think that your memory loss has anything to do with the headaches. I think it's much more complicated than that. I warned you, didn't I? Now she's even more suspicious. Why did you ask Lionel to borrow his yacht? I don't need it anymore. I need it. Is it part of this play you have for Mama? Wait and see. Aiden, have you heard anything I've said to you? What, Mama? Are you listening to me? You said that you didn't think the migraines were responsible for the memory loss. It seems to me that your lapses of memory have um, an emotional basis, for instance. You're deliberately not remembering what happened when you saw Lionel and me on the yacht all those years ago. Selective amnesia. You know, making the bad feelings repressed, right? Right, baby. That's exactly what I'm talking about. It seems to make a lot of sense. And now here we go again. You ask Lionel to borrow his yacht, and you don't remember, so I think it's still going on. Mama, I borrowed the yacht. I went on the yacht. I, I remember everything that happened on the yacht. But it seems to me that you still need to go back there, or you wouldn't have asked for it again. Do you understand? I just feel like I've been sleepwalking through part of my life or something. Okay, but you gotten so much back. You were remembering so much more. I just want it to be over. I want it to be all behind me. Behind all of us. She fell asleep right away. Good. Oh, that's good. She must have been exhausted. Um, listen, I have to ask you again. I have to. Why did you want me to come over? The real reason. Well, I guess I just wanted to see you and talk to you. You sounded alarmed. You sounded anxious on the phone. I'm sorry, Mama. I didn't mean to alarm you. Look, I want to help you. I cannot tell you how much I want to help you, Eden. I've caused you so much pain. You see, I just want to help you and make up for it. Mama, don't say that. I mean, I just don't know what the next step is. One thing that you can do, though, is be very careful. What do you mean? I just have this fear that something might happen to you. Nothing's going to happen to me. I'm all right. I just feel like I should tell you not to trust anyone, especially me. 
But that would sound crazy, wouldn't it? I want to help you through this. I'd go through this for you if I could. No, Mama. I've got to go through it myself, whatever it is. I just really couldn't bear it if you got hurt. Nothing's going to happen to me. You concentrate on you. You're really strong. You've survived some really terrible things. I can only pray I'm as strong as you. You're strong. And this is all going to be over very soon. I promise you that. just a dream. It really happened. I was the thief. Oh, God. I stole this from my own mother. 